everyone, it's Sarah here with the Montana Science Center. I am here with another fun and virtual science station experiment for us all to do together. So if you stick around, I'm gonna go over directions and all of that fun stuff next. All right, as you can see on our virtual science station board, today is Friday, April 24th, 2020. On the agenda for this video, first we will go over introductions. What are we doing today? Next, we will go over materials. What will we need? Then we will go over directions. How do we do this? And finally, I will go over the explanation. How does this work? We are doing an experiment today that is entitled Water Drops on a Penny. The materials you will need for this experiment are as follows. You can use a penny, but I also found a nickel and a quarter. So I was gonna test all of these coins to see if there's any difference. Water and a pipette or a syringe. The first step of this experiment is to practice your pipette skills. This is an awesome fine motor activity and super fun. So I'm going to use my pipette and retrieve some water. Next, I'm going to, placing my pipette aside, I'm going to decide which coin to use first. I'm going to start with my penny. Then I'm going to very slowly put small drops of water on this penny and count how many drops of water one penny can hold. You could make a chart with this to see whose penny holds the most amount of water or which coin holds the most amount of water. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, oh, 22 before it burst. So as you could see, our coin kind of bubbled up with water. I'm going to try the same experiment again so you can see the effect. All right, I'm gonna try the same experiment, this time using the nickel. Watch carefully to see what happens with the water. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Before I continue, I'm just gonna pause and give you kind of a nice view of this coin. As you can see, the water has appeared to dome up. I'm gonna have you all pause this video and make your hypotheses as to why the water domes up on these coins. So what makes this experiment work? Why does the water dome up on top of each coin? Two concepts are at play here. The first is cohesion. The second is surface tension. You can see each of these concepts illustrated nicely when the water molecules form in an optimal position on top of each coin in the form of a dome. There you have it. There's another super fun um, math and science activity for our virtual science station. We'll see you next time. Bye.